everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be creating a stamped background using the Painted Petal Stamp Set. The stamp set has been out for quite some time and it's still one of my favorite flower sets because I love that it layers. There's a lot of different layers that you can use on each of the individual flowers and it kind of has a sketchy look to it. And I just think it looks really cool when you stamp it all out in different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background panel using all of these stamps and I'm going to use dark and light ink to create some contrast in all of my flowers. I have picked out a color palette that I'm going to use, so I'm going to feature purples. The first one here is Grapesicle, which is a nice light purple, and then I'm layering grape jelly on top of that. Now these flowers have a lot more layers than I'm actually going to use. I'm only going to use two per each flower, but some of them have three and even four different layers, so you can really add all kinds of different colors to these and make a really colorful card design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to continue to add flowers and leaves. I started off with that biggest flower first and now I'm just kind of going in and filling in the space. I like to do it this way where I do one at a time just because I feel like I'm able to really kind of butt them up against each other and kind of create a really nice full pattern paper background is kind of the look I'm going for. So I just kind of move the panel around in my Misti and I am using my Misti just so I can do double stamping, especially on the more solid parts of the flowers. I like to be able to stamp them multiple times. It just really helps to get a really nice solid impression. So as I move around and I wanna kind of have the flowers overlap off the edges of the panel, I just turn my Misti and turn the panel so that it works out for where I wanna stamp the flower. In addition to the purple colors that I mentioned earlier, I'm also using a limelight and jelly bean green for the leaves that I'm adding. For the teal colored flowers, we are using summer splash and tropical teal. And then for the pink flowers, I'm using tickled pink as the base and razzleberry for the top. I really love this color palette together. I just think it is so bright and summery. And I just really love how all of them coordinate together when you have the full entire panel finished. I also really like the contrast between the light and the darker green. Even though the leaves don't actually layer together, I like that we have a little bit of variation and have some of those leaves a lighter color and then some of them a darker color. I did kind of stick to the smaller set of leaves for the darker green, just because I didn't want to overpower the background with that really large cluster in the dark color ink. So I did all of the larger clusters in that limelight color. And with these flower stamps, the different layers actually have a specific direction for them to layer on top of one another. But I found that for most of these flowers, it doesn't really matter if you get it perfectly lined up. You get a really kind of cool organic look by just kind of positioning it however you want. And it makes each of the flowers a little bit different when you stamp them if you're not lining them up all exactly the same. So I kind of just moved stuff around until I was happy with it and I made sure that none of the flowers are overlapping one another. I wanted to make sure I had white space in between all of the different stamped images. Okay, so now I'm just kind of finishing up here. You can see we're getting to the end of our panel. I'm adding that last leaf on there and then I decided I needed to fill in this little bit of space here since I didn't have really a lot going off of the side of the panel. And now that I have everything stamped, you can see that I have a lot of white space in between some of the flowers and the leaves. I knew that this would happen when I was stamping everything just because you can't get them perfectly centered around one another. So I took one of the little dot stamps which comes in this set and I decided to add a little bit of gray stamping in between. This is one of my favorite ways to fill space when I'm doing a flower type background. Now I still needed to add a little bit more and I wanted to just use a single dot. So I just used the Joyful Wreath stamp set and I'm just using one of the little dots here from the Berry stamp and I'm stamping in a darker shade of gray just to continue that contrast where I have a lighter and a darker color. And then once I was happy with that, we have our completed background that is fully stamped. We have this great panel that kind of looks like pattern paper, but we were able to customize it with all of our own favorite colors. So you could do multiples of these, you could do all the same color and just stamp multiple panels at the same time, or you can kind of mix it up and change the colors that you're using in the background. Now that we have the background fully stamped, we need to add a sentiment to our design. And this can be a little bit tricky when we have created such a busy stamped background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Well Hello stamp set along with the Sweet Hello Dynamics. And I've stamped out the large hello as well as a coordinating sentiment to go with it. And I'm going to die cut the hello with the coordinating die. What this is going to do is give me a white border around that whole stamped sentiment. And it's going to help it stand out against the colorful background when we layer it on top. I didn't like how that secondary sentiment stamped out the first time, so I did stamp it a second time, and I'm going to die cut that with a Skinny Strips Dynamics. 
So now I have my large sentiment and then my smaller sentiment strip, and I'm able to easily layer this over top. Now it still is kind of a busy background, but I really love the contrast of all of the beautiful color in the background and then the white and black sentiment kind of layered on top. And since we have both the large sentiment as well as the sentiment strip, I think that they both stand out really nicely against this background. So for the sentiment strip, I added it directly to the card base and I just trimmed off the extra on the side. And then for the large hello, I used some foam adhesive to give it a little bit of extra dimension and help it stand out a little bit more. And then lastly, we're just going to add our panel to a card base. So I decided to add it to a white card base and our panel measures four inches by five and a quarter. So it leaves a little bit of a white border all the way around that panel when we add it onto the card base. And I did decide just to use regular adhesive and just leave the adhesive that's dimensional underneath the hello sentiment. And finally, I'm just going to use my white gel pen and add a little bit of detail to the flowers just to give them a little bit of highlights and just add a little bit more detail to the finished design. And once I have that done, our card is complete and we've created this beautiful, colorful design using a stamp set and a bunch of different colored inks. This is so customizable and there's so many different ways that you could stamp them to create a multiple of different backgrounds featuring this beautiful flower stamp set. I hope today's video gave you some ideas on ways that you can use the Painted Petal stamp set. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. As always, I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.